welcome to all of you welcome welcome please help me share if you can I'm not gonna be here too long if you have the opportunity to share to invite anybody please do so please do so and thank you all so much for turning in this morning this evening this afternoon whatever you are just want to say thank you all so much for watching and for those of you that will watch and share later I just woke up from a rapture dream that really shook me to the core and I'm so afraid for my life as an individual and my walk with God my relationship with God and everything that I'm doing for God so um, please do help me share and I'll go straight to the the dream and the vision that was revealed to me because I don't want to be held accountable I do not want to be held responsible for anything I'm just a messenger that is delivering the Word of God and what the Lord revealed to me I'm not here to scare anybody I'm not here to frighten you I'm not here to judge you I'm not here to condemn you I'm just here to, to say what was revealed to me and the causes that will make many people to miss the rapture the things that will make a lot of people to make the uh, to miss the rapture so I'm not going to be here too long so let's pray and I will deliver the dream and I will shut my Facebook down gracious Lord I want to say thank you this morning Lord I thank you for the opportunity that you gave me to reveal to me Lord I'm nobody I'm nothing but God you choose to do it anyway and for this I'm grateful to you oh God for giving me another chance oh God to amend my ways this morning and to bring your message to your people that you have given to me Lord to every ears that will hear this to every one that will sit and listen and to those that are listening right now Lord I pray that you will you will speak to them individually oh God and whatever you want to say to them father I pray for their spirit and their heart to be open to receive your word oh God we thank you we bless you in the mighty name of Jesus I pray amen amen so ladies and gentlemen you know most of you that have follow me on Facebook and you watches my teaching and everything that I'm doing on Facebook I'm just here to just say to you what the Lord revealed to me this morning so last night I woke up this morning to pray and after praying while reading the Bible I literally dozed off to sleep and when I dozed off to sleep before I went to bed you know I have been going through a lot I've been going through a lot of persecutions I've been going through a lot of trying times I've been going through a lot as an individual and my walk with God has been really tested so I begin to pray and see God and begin to tell him Lord I want you to show to me what would be the cause what would be that one thing that would make me to miss the rapture if I don't make it to heaven and so I pray all this prayer. I say, I'm not doubting everything that you have conveyed to me about, everything that you have brought me out of. I say, I'm not going to doubt you. That's not what I'm, I'm not here to doubt you. I'm just here to ask you for something very sincerely to my heart. And after I prayed that prayer and I went to bed, brothers and sisters, the first, the first rapture dream that I had, I was standing at a place and I was about to commit a suicide in my dream. I was literally about to kill myself in my dream. And I was up on this mountain, not a mountain, but I was up on the building and I was getting ready to jump down and kill myself. And then the devil was there and said, throw yourself down, throw yourself down. And then I saw a lot of airplanes, like a lot of planes fly, just in the flying in the air. And then... There was a light that came from one of the planes and came straight down on me and put me down on the floor. After that one, the dream transitioned and I saw myself in the bedroom. I saw myself in the room with a man. 
But this man was homeless. He didn't. He, he wasn't there to hurt me. He only came to bring peace and comfort to me. And so while I was laying down, I lay down on his lap, and he said, "Lay down on my lap." I said, "But if I lay down on your lap, people will begin to judge me. They will not know why I'm laying down on your lap. And when I open the door, they will feel like I'm doing something very bad, or we're doing something bad." But when I was lying down on the man's lap, I was comfortable. I felt the peace of God. I felt my inner peace. I felt everything within me was so good. But then when I saw somebody knock to the door, I left the man's lap and I went and lay down. On the side of that, I said, please, you got to understand what I'm going through right now. It's not easy for me as a child of God. It's a lot of persecution. And then he said, I know what you are going through. But then while we're in the room, I begin to hear sounds. The rapture has taken place. The rapture has taken place. Oh, my God. People are uh, uh, people are descending. People are going. There are angels out here. They are taking people. I mean, it happened so suddenly. It happened so suddenly. So... I came out of the room not knowing the man that was in the room was the angel that God sent to come from me and to take me. But because of people, because I wanted to do it people's way, when I came out, I began to scream. I said, God, you can't leave me back here. Now when you have changed me, now when you have transformed me, now when I have preached the message to people I want, so God, you can't do this to me. I refuse to leave behind. And I was left behind in my dream. I was never raptured. Even there are some top ministers that I personally know. There's a woman that died years ago. She was a great woman of God, a great woman of God that everybody look up to as a mother. Everybody look up to her as somebody great. This lady never made the rapture. The Bible says that and the dead in Christ will rise first. This woman is dead and gone. When the rapture took place, she was restored, but she never made it to heaven. She was left behind and she began to tell other people, this is the reason why I was left behind. This is the reason why I didn't make it. She said, because of trouser, because of earring, because of dream, because I cut my hair, because I did this, because I did that. I never made the rapture. And I'm telling you why I was standing in my dream. I literally began to cry and said, God, you can't tell me. That because of disobedience, because of doubt, because wanting to do as people way, because wanting to please people, I missed the rapture. Me, God, that you can't be sure you can't, I can't live back here. And I literally started crying. And I cried. I was, I, I mean, I didn't even know how to cry. I didn't even know what to do. I didn't even know what to say. So where I was, there were ministers. I'm telling you, ministers that I know that when they preach, when they preach the word of God, the place you're standing, you are, you are, yourself, you begin to repent from your sinfulness. There were great ministers of God, ministers that I know that preaches the word of God, that, that, that do things for God. Ministers, preachers, evangelists, pastors, they were never raptured in my dream, all because of the same thing. All because of this. And I saw myself being isolated from them. And I went behind the the Yami. I saw millions, trillions, thousands of angels descending. I mean, they were just coming and taking people, taking people, taking people. And then when I realized I was in rapture, what I did was I went and began to cry to God. I went on my knees. I said, God, now because of disobedience, because of doubt, because I wanted to please people so much and wanted to do it their way. And every time when you reveal something to me, I always question you because of this. I miss the rapture of me because of doubt. Because of disobedience, because I wanted to do it your way. After you have revealed to me many times. And now, Lord, see what, see what it has led me to. Eternity now, I have to suffer in the hands of this Antichrist. I have to suffer in their hands. They have to beat me. They have to torture me. They have to do all. They have to take all my money, everything I ever possessed, my job, everything. And now I have to be tortured just to make it to heavy. I said, God, see where it landed me to. See where this disobedient thing landed me to. See where I am right now, God. Why? Why? Why did I disobey you? Why? Why did I question you in the first place? And I begin to cry. I begin to cry to God. 
for mercy in my dream. It was too late by that time. It was too late for me to be raptured because the heavens had already shot. It already shot down on me and I couldn't do anything but to go through the hands of those torture people. To go through the mark of the beast for them to, to crucify me just so I can make it to heaven. And as I woke up this morning from my dream, I'm here to tell you from the depth of my heart. And when I woke up this morning, I didn't literally know how to pray. I didn't even know how to repent. I literally didn't even know how to seek the face of God and say, God, how do, how do I pray? How, what else do I say? And all I could hear the Spirit of God telling me is that, He said, tell them I'm coming. He said, tell them that my standards stands. He said, tell them disobedience cannot enter into my, my rest. He said, if you are doubtful, you can never enter his rest. He said, if you are choosing the way of the worldly things, you can never enter his rest. While I was praying and crying to God for mercy, these were the words that was downloaded in my spirit. These were the things that he was telling me. And today, if you are watching me as an individual, let me tell you, the way to heaven is an individual journey. And I've come to let you know that Jesus himself said, that the things of this world can never have anything to do with heaven. And if you are watching me and you are still being doubtful like me. Or have doubted and been disobedient to God. And wanting a prophet to come out. God himself to appear to you in your dream and tell you. I am the one releasing my people. He said I release my servants to the world to teach them about modesty. To teach them about things that I go. The way I want my church to be. The way I want my church to represent me. The way I want them to dress. The way I want them. The way I want to see them when I come. Just that's how I want them. And nothing else else nothing more should be added and subtracted i am god no one should question my authority no one should question anything i've chosen to do in the last i'm waking up people so i just came here this morning to tell you as an individual that whatever it is that you are chasing after today these worthy things it can never enter God heaven. It can never, he said, will never enter my rest. Disobedience can never, you can never have a place in heaven. Doubting God. There were many preachers, there, there were many people that are preaching this message or holding it that I see were raptured in my dream. But I will not call anybody name just for integrity's sake. I will not mention their names. But there are many people out there today, they are preaching the message of holiness. They are preaching the message of repentance. They are preaching the message of true modesty. They are preaching the message of how for us as women of God, as men of God, we ought to present ourselves, we ought to dress the way Christ wants us to represent him there are women out there preaching that message today there are women out there delivering there are men of god preaching that message today to all of us on social media on, on youtube channel everywhere you go even in your church there are people that are really preaching that message of holiness righteousness repentance how you ought to live according to the standard of god but many of us are still doubting like me god says that he's coming back and your act of disobedience, anything that you are doing that is unholy, he said, will never enter his rest. It will never enter his rest. If you keep putting makeup on, you keep putting earrings on, you keep putting the fake hair on, you keep wearing tries or you keep exposing your body, you keep doing that. You say you're dressing modesty, but you still put it this thing. You say none of these things. I'm telling you, the woman that I knew, the woman that I thought she had died and make it to heaven, she was never raptured because she shaved her hair. She cut her hair and yes, she still used to put on these things and she was, she did gather from the dead, but she was, she never made it to heaven and she began to tell other people in the dream see i never make it because of this i'm not here to condemn you i'm not here to judge you i'm not here to tell you live right or don't do i'm only here as a messenger to deliver to you what the lord revealed to me as an individual and what will make you to miss the rapture and what has caused me to make the rapture the, the rapture even though i preach the message of holiness but there have been some doubts in my mind they have been disobedient i've been questioning god so much because of the peer pressure that i've been receiving from people because of the way people looked at me because of the way people uh, they, they just say oh i'm i'm coming on my own 
moon and delivering all of these things. They don't believe in the Sabbath. They don't believe in Sunday worship. They don't believe in this one. They don't believe in that one. They don't believe that God is only they, I mean they believe say God is only looking in your heart and God is not looking at your outward appearance. God is looking at everything think you are as an individual everything that you possess in your heart god look at it your out will appear the way you appear before people god is looking at all of these things and i've come to send a warning jesus said he's right at the door and i'm telling you only a few people make it in my dream few people were raptured and even when i'm standing right now let me tell you the line has been drawn. I don't care. You can crucify me. Call me names. Tell me that I'm I'm the devil. Tell me that I'm being I'm I've been manipulated. Tell me anything you want to tell me. But I've made up my mind to follow God. Nothing can stop me and nothing can hold me back. And I'm so sorry if the truth has been offensive to you. I'm so sorry if the truth I'll be preaching on Facebook. If, if, if it is offensive to you and you feel very bad about it, go to God and ask Him for yourself. If you come at me, brothers and sisters, I will continue to pray for you that the Lord Himself will convert you. Because Paul said, now that you are being delivered from the darkness, do not disconnect yourself completely from them go around them begin to pray for them that's my position right now and that's what i've come to let you know what was revealed to me this morning after i asked the lord for myself because as a christian as a child of god there are some things that we are doing individually that are not right in the eyes of god it is good to pray to god god hates trials and trials is an abomination to him and i'm telling you right now if you wear trials and you can believe me or not you can choose you can condemn me whatever you want to do go ahead and do it but i'm telling you what the lord revealed to me trials will never enter god rest if you are wearing the weed presented hair it will never enter heaven if you are wearing makeup jewelry diamond whatever it is that you are using to 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 beautify your body he said it can never enter my rest it will never never tell i mean i'm telling you what was revealed to me i'm not about to add i'm not about to subtract i'm not about to convince you because i'm not here to convince you i'm only here to tell you god said tell them tell them that disobedient lying stealing all of these things it can never enter his rest the lord is right at the door he's right at the corner his coming is very very near suddenly it's going to happen suddenly it's going to happen brothers and sisters i pray that the lord will bless you i pray that the lord will strengthen all of us to prepare us for his coming above all wake up because the lord is sealing his people he's waking up men and women He's preparing them. You see them every day on your Facebook. You are looking at them. You watch them. But you are still doubting. You are still in the stage of doubt like me. You are still in the act of disobedience. You do not want to do it. God is calling you out from among them. He said, be ye separated. Come out from among them. Touch not the unclean things. The word of God stands forever. There are standards in the kingdom of God. There are standards that God himself has but from the foundation of the world to this very moment, there are standards in the Bible. There are standards in God's kingdom. And if we refuse to do it God's way, I'm telling you, you will be like me that missed the rapture in my dream. You will be like me wanting to ask God, let me go visit hell. There are many people that have died. They went to hell. They came and tell you the vision about hell. What has caused them to miss the rapture? What has caused them to go to hell? But here you are. You are still doubting. You will still want prophetic word to come to you. Be warned. Be warned. Enough has been said. The Bible says, he would have ears. Let him hear what the Spirit of God says to the church. This is the warning from God. God bless you and have a great day.